Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to create a RESTful service using REST Dispatch and Reply Activity. So before starting let's first see what is a REST service. REST means a representational state transfer service. The advantage of using REST service over SOAP service is that it is a non-standardized and a lightweight functionality service. It is, that means it doesn't comply to any hard and fast standards how it is used in SOAP. So let's start uh, constructing our REST service. So let's first add a folder where we are going to add our processes. It is good practice to always follow a folder structure while creating any application in TIPCO. So let's have a folder for processes, then a resources folder. Inside processes, let's or we can have it outside itself. We can have a separate folder for creating our REST service. REST service. Let's add a process here. Rename it as REST service process. One more thing we should note is like for exposing a REST service, we need to use a palette REST dispatch and reply. But for using exposing this service uh, palette as a web service, we need to add a HTTP receiver as well. So let's add a HTTP receiver. So this is a basic process needed for exposing a REST service. So since we have HTTP receiver, so we must have HTTP connection as well. So let's add a folder, new folder for connections where we can have connection for since only HTTP is needed here. We'll add and one more folder. Let's add a connection here, HTTP connection. Here, let's give the default port as 8080. So our HTTP connection is ready now. So let's go to the service, HTTP receiver. Here, refer the connection which we have just now created. Now we need to construct a VADL. We can construct a VADL using this REST dispatch and reply palette. For constructing a VADL, let's first go to service editor. Here we have application name as a default. Let's rename it as some student application, student details application. Apply it, right click, add REST service. So before we are doing this, let's know what is the structure of a VADL. A VADL usually contains a application, under that a REST service, then a resource, then method, and then in, inside that request and response. So let's add one by one everything. So we have we are going to create an application with student details where we are going to give input as student role number, and in turn we are going to get the student details like name, college, and other details. So let's rename as student service, student detail service, student details service and for if you see when we are applying we are getting a notification like we should definitely mention a base URL. So this is the URL which is which we will be using to refer this REST service. So here we can give a default we have to give a URL which for which we have created a HTTP connection. So let's add it as HTTP localhost 8080. So this is our base URL. Now next we need to add a resource again we can mention as student resource and here we need to mention the resource path this is very important because we can have a multiple resource under the rest service so we should specifically mention the resource path name so let's have it as student details apply then add a method 
inside method as we are going to use a post method mention the post method and if you notice here there it is, we have to refer a process name here for the particular method so for this we need to create a process so let's stop it here and create a process first add a resource a process process definition student details let's create a very simple process because our main necessity is to learn how to create a rest service instead of getting this business logic so let's use a mapper to have it here let's rename it as student details now for getting the logic we need to have a schema so that we can refer it here so let's create a schema now and say resources we can have a new folder name it rename it as schemas let's have it here then add a schema let's go here then student details content type let's element let's have it as a request comma response inside request let's element let's have it elements let it be only roll number so I have added it and for response let's get in response the name of the student college to which he belongs and a branch so our schema also is ready now so this is our schema student details request and response now let's refer this schema now let's refer this schema in our student details here we are since we are going to get the student details let's refer the response part of the schema schema response you can check in the tree we are getting the name for this branch okay so apply it input and this is ready let's write some condition here let's have just two options first one when let's first here we need to add a schema for the request first xml element reference resources sch schema student details request free roll number okay so our request part is ready so whenever a roll number will come we'll query the roll number based on the existing details which we have feeded here and in turn send a response to the rest service so now let's have a condition just for the three lead students or just have the two students here let's write a condition that when roll number is equal to one the student details will be ashish college g c k branch triply and if the rule number is 2 the student's details will be actually c t e c e otherwise We can send as unknown student detail student roll number
college name unknown branch no so our business process is ready for querying the student details same thing we need to have a response schema in our end activity also so let's add the response schema in our end activity save it and now just map the output of student details to response activity so our business process is ready to be preferred in the method here so we have almost reached till method let's rename it as student details post method refer the process which we have constructed just now fine so we have referred the method also now we need to bind the input to the process so let's bind the details for this the output of http receiver should be given as an input for the rest dispatch and reply activity so the post data element of http receiver will be containing the received test data so let's map it to here and in turn the response will be from the end activity of our business process so let's map it in the ascii content since we have a complex element let's use a function tib render xml and data is response and let's by default let's make it true for both the options so we are ready with our binding details let's bind it so it is done so our waddle is completely ready now let's export the waddle there is option to export waddle just go to here and mention the directory this is the directory so this is done okay mention the file name as student application application and save it just refresh our station main project name and we can find the waddle available here as student application so now this is also ready let's create a test process so that we can test it whatever we have folder test for consuming the rest service we need to use invoke rest reply activity request api let's map it here we need to refer the waddle which we have exported there so configuration we are going to refer waddle file the waddle file is under resource waddle virtual application if you refer it if you can see automatically the fields like base url resource path method id has been populated if you want to add authentication you can add it but since we do have less time we are just skipping this now in input just no need to give mention any uri under body and a text you need to give the type for sure otherwise you will get an error so for time being we are going to give asterisk slash asterisk comma and content let's have for test process one as the test data for the first test process save it now let's test our service before testing let's check if we have completed everything properly so we are apply for http receiver have our in overview we can check we have referred the process it is referring properly so now everything is ready let's test the process save it load the rest service and the test process load selected and test you see we have got 